Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam, and I'm going to start another general reading with cards from a card pull from my Oracle card deck. It's called Moonbeam Magic, and I worked on it for about five years. I painted all these images by hand, and there's 46 cards in the deck. And it also comes with a guidebook that has card descriptions and affirmations. You can find out more about my deck by going to moonbeammagic.com deck.com and magic does have a K at the end of it. So we're going to pull one of these cards to start the reading with. This will just be a general reading. And the card is flowers. So let me read the description to you of what I wrote about flowers. It's the number 10. Never underestimate the power of a flower. Flowers have been admired and appreciated since the beginning of time for their color, scent, and beauty. Take time to stop and really look at the flowers you encounter. Flowers bring joy, happiness, and beauty to your life. Inhale the intoxicating scent of this divine earth love. Take a walk in a garden. Go sit in a field of wildflowers. Soak in the flower power. The affirmation is, I will admire the beauty, grace, and love of flowers. I will breathe in their scent and allow the divine earth love to enter my spirit. So that's a really nice way to start off the message. Now I'm going to be pulling some cards from some Lenormand decks. And as I said, this is a general reading, so not all of the messages that come out here will resonate. Definitely take what resonates and leave behind what does not. I mean, what doesn't work for you. Okay, let me kind of move these around a little bit. I want to make sure you can see everything for the most part. The first card is the number 33. And this, by the way, is the Healing Light Lenormand deck. The number 33 is the key card. And the key is all about having a solution to something, um, finding a missing puzzle piece, perhaps even having an aha moment. The key is about empowerment. The key can unlock doors to opportunities and dreams. The key can also unlock something, but also lock something if you need something to um, be put behind you. This next card is the lady card, and this either represents you or represents a lady in your life. And the focus for her is the key. The key to solving whatever issue or dilemma or situation is going on. The card on the upper right is the clouds. And the clouds can represent um, worries and clouded vision, confusion, even moodiness, troubles. Um, but in, in this instance, there's also a sign of the clouds clearing and there being some, some brightness and the sun coming out. There's definitely hope. This, in my view, could almost be a, an indication that the storm is almost over if you've been experiencing something sort of upsetting or traumatic. This card on the bottom right is the stork. And the stork is all about new beginnings and a new season. It could be about an upheaval, a migration, a relocation. It's definitely about a rebirth and something brand new starting. So with these two together, I feel like the clouds are clearing and there's going to be a fresh new start. The middle bottom card is the child. And the child can be about innocence and play, a reminder to play and have fun, take life less seriously, something that's starting off small that's going to grow over time. It's definitely a reminder to have 
a playful childlike spirit. This next card is the night number 19. It's the tower card. And the tower can it can be about a business or an establishment government type building. It does offer protection. It also can represent a time period of isolation. It can represent being at the top of the tower and suddenly having a new and even higher perspective. So I believe perhaps this new perspective is part of the key and the solution to whatever the focus is that the woman has been thinking about. The key is also going to be ending the confusion and the doubt, maybe even the sadness. There's, whenever I see sun rays, beautiful golden sun rays in a card, there's always hope. So this new perspective, this maybe more childlike way of looking at things can represent a new beginning with a solution at hand. The flowers and the um, talking about you know, really inhaling the scent of the flowers, really paying attention to the flowers. That to me is also a really good reflection of, of the childlike innocence and joy. I'm going to pull a card for another card on this deck called the Gilded Reverie Lenormand for the tower. So then we got the tree. And then I'm going to pull one for the child. And look, there's the key again. And the third card that came out and just flopped right out of the deck is the dice. So first we'll talk about the tree. The tree represents something that's building over time. If you think about the, the seed that planted that tree, there's a lot of patience involved for it to grow to this level. So this might be part of the solution is to be more patient, perhaps. It's a steady growth. It's a steady build. It can be about putting down roots. It can be about family and ancestry and history. And it's definitely a card about happiness and stability. You can see there's some really beautiful sacred geometry in the tree. There's a rainbow there. It's... It's something that's growing and blossoming and blooming, basically. Um, it's a really good card, great energy. It's a happiness card. The key again is just another reminder that if you haven't figured out the solution to whatever situation you're dealing with, it's coming. I mean, because there's two, there's several cards in these decks. For two to come out means that the solution is on the way if it's not here already. And maybe look at the whatever you're dealing with, like I said, from a new perspective. And maybe even in a creative way like a child would look at it. So this card is the dice. It's all about taking a gamble, taking a risk, and taking a chance. Instead of letting the clouds of confusion and doubt rule your mind, think about your new beginning. Life is too short not to take a chance at something new. So I'm going to pick just a couple more cards from a cardomancy deck. It's based on a regular set of playing cards. It's a really unique form of divination. And it really puts an interesting spin on the messages that try to come through here. That first card is the Seven of Spades. And it's a card that's called Foolishness. <laughs> so you can see there's a gentleman eating a shoe. And the spades, even above his head, or, you know, just thrown about. It's about having a lack of judgment and not thinking straight and being uh, reckless. But... I kind of like this card. I think it's fun. I think being um, somewhat foolish is being childlike and having fun and playing around. So I don't think this is a bad thing, especially with these other cards around it. 
the key may be in looking at something from the new perspective in a more childlike manner. This next card is the King of Clubs. And the King of Clubs is the card called the Chief of Eternity. And the Chief of Eternity is about the union of consciousness and unconsciousness. And it represents your higher self beyond thoughts and the beginning of a cycle. So the beginning of the cycle being very close to the stork and the new beginning represented in this is good. Um, your higher self, to me, this is representative of a wise man. And he's got this radiant kind of almost sun rays behind him. This is about listening to your, your inner guide, your higher self, and trusting that with your intuition, really where you're being guided is valid and correct and accurate. The next card there on the right, that last one is the two of clubs. And the two of clubs is a card called ego. It is the con it represents the conscious mind, thoughts, memories, and emotions, and trusting yourself and self-esteem. I feel like this, along with the wisdom card here, basically, no more having doubts, confusion, taking a chance, trusting yourself with this new beginning. So it's, an, it's a really interesting message. I hope that something that came through here does speak to you. Beyond everything, remember to take time to stop and smell those flowers. Appreciate the beauty of nature around you. The solution is definitely on the way. If you don't know what it is, it is coming. Listen to the guidance of your higher self. I hope that, um, as I said, that this was meaningful to you. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I wish you a very wonderful night.